Owen Evans stands over the football on the centre circle. And we'll run through the teams again. Brandon Hall is in goal. Jamie Egan at number six. Seven, Ryan McLean. Ten, Tom Owen Evans. Fourteen, Ryan Lloyd. Sixteen, Ben Pollock. Seventeen, James Vincent. Nineteen, Mazia Kuyar. Twenty-one, Sir Braven. Twenty-three, Johnny Gordon. And twenty-seven, Dinesh Gilella. We're underway here at Edgar Street. Panorama National League North action here on Radio Hereford FC. Hereford against Kidderminster Harriers. As uh, Tom Owen Evans got us underway, but straight away Kidderminster attacking down the right hand side. Hemmings plays it off. Still attacking down the right, Sterling. Fremantle trying to control the ball. The man who's come into the squad this evening plays it over to McLean. Cuts in onto his right foot, trying to get the ball into the box. Lloyd being asked to shoot. Clips it in towards the area. Gordon goes for Damien Henner. And it's going to be blocked away at the end by Caleb Richards for a corner on the far side. And now it's back on the ground with Sterling. Shivers and shakes. Gets the strike away. Brandon Hall has to get down to his right, make a save. As he's upset, the ball didn't get to him in time. Sterling now in a bit of space down the left. Cuts in onto his right through the centre. Bajrami to Austin, gets the strike away. Brandon Hall gets down well and makes a good save and keeps the ball in hand. Corner in the meantime on the far side, played in towards the box, headed away out towards Vincent, out again to Kuyar on the far side. Left footed cross, lovely, whipped in towards the box. Pollock was almost there, blocked away, out for a corner. Allows Tom Owen Evans to linger around the penalty spot. Right footed this time, lovely in swinging corner, headed on just over the bar by Pollock. Not the first time a centre back's had an opportunity from a corner. We saw Egan head into the arms of the Gateshead keeper on Saturday. Pollock this time just couldn't get his header down low enough. Trying to work his way down the right hand channel. Morgan Smith comes back to try and put a foul in. Tom Owen Evans now chasing it down the right hand side. Gilella in support again, goes for the crossing towards the box instead. And it's cleared high and over by Keith Lowe and out for a corner. Gordon was waiting. Yeah, kept the ball well there for a period, didn't we? Just, just probing and just probing. Didn't come off his boot well enough. He might have found the roof of the net. Kuyat, lovely ball in towards the box again into the mix. Headed away, out for another corner. And he's Vincent on the edge of the area. Ball a bit higher this time, but towards the edge of the area. Egan heads down, nods off the line, clears. Gordon, it's in! Johnny Gordon fires home for Hereford. Five minutes to go to a half time, and the Bulls have the lead. Great corner in again from Kuyar on this near side. Just cleared away off the line. Came out nicely to Gordon. So he did everything he needed to do. Didn't he just get it on target and keep it low? And uh, could hit, could do anything. Got enough on it to beat the keeper. But it's a good header down, isn't it? By Egan at the back post. Of course, he would have featured in the uh, game against Bradley, but he fell ill on the day and uh, couldn't travel with the team. And it's good to see him back though on the field. Reven puts the ball in towards the box. Pollock's going to get there. The flag stayed down as well for Ben Pollock. Determine who that is over on the far side. I think it's Amari Sterling. He has been taking the corners for Kidderminster in the game. This the, is uh, reminiscent of Kettering, isn't it? It is. In towards the box it goes. Back out again to Sterling. Those of you that remember the Kettering match last season. It was very much like this. It was more of a yellow haze that was. Over the Edgar Street surface as Morgan loses out to... Of McLean, who makes the run down the right hand side. Tom Owen Evans and Gordon asking for the ball. McLean still going now, plays it to Tom Owen Evans, tees it up. Oh, it's in! It's a great goal from Hereford. Tom Owen Evans on his right foot finds the net again. Oh, good finish up by Tom Owen Evans because it, with the way the pitch is, obviously it's getting harder and harder. It's very difficult. You only take, you need to take a little bobble and it could go anywhere, but he's kept his head over the ball, side-footed finish across the keeper from what, 16 yards, top, top finish. Arm in the air, in towards the box, going to be headed on, Brandon Hall might not get there at the near post and it's going to flash wide, out for a goal kick in the end and finally out for a throw in on the far side. If you say so. <laughs> Kidderminster again, keeping the ball through the centre as Denanga just loses that possession. Gordon now trying to run away with the ball. Plays Tom of the Owen Evans through on the right hand side. McLean's in the box, trying to keep himself on side. Flag goes up. It's marginal, but I think he was just, just offside. 
takes a few steps back. He'll be right-footed over the wall. Tom Owen Evans, Ryan Lloyd are in that wall. It is played over the top and over the bar. Out for a goal kick. Brandon Hall just had a bit of a jumping exercise in the end. Keeps the ball at his feet. Plays it back to Richard. Sterling's waiting for it on the edge. And even further on the edge, Ryan McLean goes in early. Sterling takes a strike from distance. Fires wide. Harriers turn away down the left-hand side. Morgan Smith trying to cut down the left. Up towards the edge of the area. Pulled across. Brandon Hall gets a good fist to it. Lloyd has to be careful as he tries to clear away. Shouts for handball against the Harriers man running in of Sterling. Cleared away down the left-hand channel. Johnny Gordon might let this one go. Free kick again. Sterling goes a bit lower this time. Brandon Hall has to punch it away. Couldn't quite keep hold of it. I think he punched his fist at the last moment. He's I'd getting rather, congratulations. I'd rather they try and catch that. It's a punch, you know, you've only got to be just off, like, as he was then. It's sort of sliced off his gloves, isn't it? It's gone over, but... Oh. Towards White, who slips over, loses out possession. Gordon shoved to the floor. Tomo and Evans just carrying on here on his own. Tries to chip the keeper, and it's going to go out for a goal kick. And uh, he tried to, I think he tried to... Uh, put too much behind that but Johnny Gordon he was, he was shrugged he was shoved over yeah he was shrugged pulled right back as he went to go forward going to have to choose I think Ryan Lloyd's had a good game he's been put him, he's put himself about he's been he's Tom been Owen everywhere. Evans has played through Mars Story sorry to interrupt you Mars Story good save from Simpson couldn't get it past him back out to Tom Owen Evans again who couldn't quite get up to the head as he's uh, back onto the pitch and running around he's absolutely fine in the end, Austin on the right-hand side picks up the ball on the edge of the area, plays it back to Penny, gets the ball high into the area. Brandon Hall might be able to go up and get this one, drops to the floor, wins the free kick.